All right, let's take a look at this problem. You want to be perpendicular to y equals 12 sevenths x minus 5, and you're passing through the point 15, 0. What do you know about perpendicular lines? The slopes are negative reciprocals. We talked about, you know, flip and switch, right? Mm -hmm. So if I look at this guy that's already in slope-intercept form, what is his slope? Negative. The slope of that line is 12 over 7, which means that my perpendicular slope is what? Negative. The negative reciprocal. So you flip it and you switch the sign, negative 7 over 12. Are you with me? Now, use this slope and use that point, right? So I know you guys like to use the slope-intercept form, so let's do that. Y equals mx plus b, plug in what you have here. So y is what? Zero. My slope is, the slope that we're using here is negative 7 over 12. My x value is 15 plus b. Are you with me on that? Mm -hmm. Just like the problem that's on your homework that I'm looking at right now. Just different numbers on that. So, uh, let me go ahead and do some simplifying because we do have this is 15. We can make that 15 over 1 if it makes you happy. How can you reduce this guy? Uh, 3 divided by 3 at the bottom. Reduce this by a common factor of 3. I get 4 and 5. So what do we have here? 35. Negative 35 over 4 plus B, which means B equals what? Uh, positive right. You move that over there and you add it to 0. It's just... 35 over 4. All right, so there's my slope. Or excuse me, there's my y coordinate for the y intercept. My slope. So what do we have here? That's negative 7 twelfths x. plus 35 over 4. What do you guys think? Huh? Well, let me show you another one, another perpendicular one. Suppose I want to be perpendicular to you know, let's use that same equation that we had in number 8. 5x plus 8y equals 3. And let's talk about the same point that we went through before. The point was equal to negative 6, 9. Do you think I'm going to have the same equation here if I'm perpendicular? No. No, it was parallel before. <laughs> Bless you. Now I'm going to be perpendicular. Bless you. Do it again. <laughs> oh, so you're done. Now. now, let me tell you something. We said that with when we start with something that's in standard form, it's going to be best for us to finish in standard form. Okay. Now, let me tell you this. When you have something in standard form like this, AX plus BY equals C, this will be perpendicular. This is perpendicular to... Now, if this is standard form, the standard form for the perpendicular line can't be the same, can it? Remember what we talked about with the slopes. We said the A and the B relate to our slope. They help us get our slope. But when I talked up here about my slope, I did what we call the flip and switch. We flipped it over and we changed the sign, right? In order for me to indicate that here, I'm going to flip these coefficients over say bx and a y but if I 
If I keep it as bx plus ay, then I haven't changed the sign of my slope. But if I do this guy right here, so I flipped the coefficients and I changed a sign. Okay. So you can be perpendicular to this guy or perpendicular to negative bx plus ay equals c prime. See, what I'm trying to show you here is it doesn't matter which of these guys you make negative. If you want to make the coefficient for y change his sign or change the sign of the coefficient of x, it doesn't matter. But you can only change one. If you change them both, think about what would happen if you flip a fraction over and you change the top and the bottom sign. It doesn't change anything. Because negative over negative is still going to be, you multiply times positive one, it doesn't matter. So when I look at this problem right here, I'm starting here. If I flip these coefficients around, that's going to be 8x, and that's going to be 5y. Now, they were both positive to begin with, so I could write them as both positive here to start, but I have to change one of their signs. Now, would you rather change the sign of the x or the sign of the y? I would rather do that, because you know I don't like to lead off with the negative x, or negative coefficient for x. So I, I, I claim that these guys right here are perpendicular. If you wanted to solve this guy for y like we did before, you would find that y is equal to negative 5 eighths x and some junk. It doesn't really matter. If you took this guy and you solve this for y, you're going to have negative 8x divided by negative 5. But what happens with those signs? They become positive. And so you would have 8 over 5 for your slope. And the original slope was negative 5 over 8. So things would connect and things would make sense there. But what you have to figure out now is, what's that number? How do I figure that out? Plug in the coordinates for your point. So 8 times the x minus 5 times the y coordinate. So we have negative 6. We have 9. So what do we have here? That's OK. Yeah, yeah negative 48 minus 45. That gives me what altogether? Should be negative 93. So here's my negative 93. So if you start in standard form, if you work with standard form, it's going to make your work a lot easier. Notice I didn't have to worry about fractions at all in this problem. Okay, Maybe a little bit when I was in my head solving for y to see what the slopes were going to be to make sure they were negative reciprocals. But the rest of this was fairly straightforward. Any questions about that?